Running a single query is a good start, but how can we combine different queries into a single unified search? In SQL, you can use simple Boolean operators like AND, OR, and NOT to combine different criteria in a query. Elasticsearch has the same functionality, but it's packaged slightly differently. Different queries can be combined using a bool query. We can use the bool query to specify which queries must match a document, which queries must not match a document, and which queries should match a document. Let's work through how we can use a bool query to search for documents that match two queries. We'll find all the documents in the Olympic Events Index where city is equal to London and sports is athletics. The bool block goes first. To combine two queries, both of which must match a document in order for it to become a hit, we add a must block. The value of the must block is an array into which we add all the queries we want to have matched. Each query goes into its own object. For the first query, we're matching against the city field, which is a keyword type. So I'll add a term query to match the value of London. We can run the query at this point. It's just the same as a single term query, as there's only one query in the must block. 22,426 documents so far. I'll add the second query to the array. The sport field is also a keyword, so another term query is needed. I add another object to the array of the must block, into which I add the term query against the sport field, matching a value of athletics. With two items in the must array, both of these queries must match a document in order for it to become a hit. Adding that second query has reduced the number of hits to only 4,107. We can continue adding items to the must array, filtering the results further each time. The must block can be considered an AND operator. This query must match, and this query must match. If we wanted to exclude documents that matched a certain query, we can do that using a must not block, again inside the ball query. We could exclude documents from the 1908 Summer Games by including a term query in the must not block. That filters the results down to 3,329 documents. We can add more items into the array if we want to exclude more documents matching other queries. The must not block can be considered a not operator. Documents must not match any of the queries in the block in order for them to become a hit. We've dealt with AND and NOT, so what about OR? The ball query also has a SHOULD block, which can be used to build OR conditions. If we wanted to filter the existing query further, so only those with a National Olympic Committee of either Great Britain or Sweden, we add two term queries to the SHOULD block. The NOC field should be either GBR or SWE. At least, that's what a lot of newcomers to Elasticsearch would think. Run the query, however, and the number of hits doesn't go down. We're still getting 3,329 hits. Something changed, though. The results are in a different order, and the scores have changed. So what's going on? The should clauses don't work exactly like an OR operator, at least by default and only under certain circumstances. Documents should match at least one of the queries in the should block, but they don't always have to. The behaviour of the should clauses is driven by a parameter of the ball query called minimum should match. Minimum should match is the number of queries in the should block that need to match a document for it to become a hit. It's commonly believed that the default value for this parameter is 1, meaning documents need to match at least one of the should queries, but that's only sometimes correct. There are actually two default values for minimum should match, and which one is used depends on what else is in your ball query. Here's the most important line from the Elasticsearch documentation. If the ball query includes at least one should clause and no must or filter clauses, the default value is one. Otherwise, the default value is zero. I've seen newcomers and experienced Elasticsearch users not know this behavior. The first time I found out about it was when I was getting more hits than I was expecting and raised a ticket with Elastic only to be pointed to the docs with that line highlighted. Looking at our query, we have two should clauses and one must clause, so the default value for minimum should match in this case is zero. This means that documents don't need to match any of the should clauses to become a hit for the query. 
So what effect are the should clauses having? They're boosting the scores of documents that do match those should clauses. Documents that don't match will have a lower score than those that do. With a minimum should match of zero, the should clauses are telling Elasticsearch that any documents that match those queries are more important to us and should be ranked higher. To require at least one of the should clauses to match in order for the document to become a hit, we need to add a minimum should match with a value of one. With that parameter in the ball query, the number of hits goes down to only 248. If we wanted both of those should clauses to match, we could set the value to two, but that would result in zero matches in this query. An athlete can't be from both the Great Britain and Sweden National Olympic Committees. I advise people to always include the minimum should match parameter in their queries to make what's happening absolutely crystal clear. Anyone reading your query will need to know the details of the two default values if you don't include it. The value for minimum should match can also be a percentage if you want a percentage of the should clauses to match in order for the document to become a hit. You can also include negative numbers if you want all but some of the should clauses to match. The sentence from the documentation on minimum should match mentioned filter clauses. Let's look at those next.